Since COVID, the world's going back to normal. But that's not totally true for the economy or the stock market. Lots of things have changed. That, that's why I've spent all week trying to figure out which of these changes are temporary and which are permanent. Like I've said before, I think office space may, uh, may be down and out, maybe for a generation. Video games should be able to come back in a year or two. But what about the most iconic group of COVID winners, uh, turned post-COVID losers, that is, the e-commerce plays? Their businesses boomed during the height of the pandemic, and their stocks soared to the stratosphere. But once we could shop in person again, they started coming back to Earth. Then the Fed declared war on inflation, and then the whole group collapsed. The question is, has e-commerce been permanently hobbled in a post-pandemic world, or can the group get back on its feet in the not-too-distant future? I think this is temporary, although it's, uh, you know, it's still way too early to buy many of these stocks. We know the top dogs in the space, though, uh, like Amazon, Shopify. They made huge bets that online shopping would keep growing like crazy, even when we got over COVID. Turns out, well, they were very wrong, and now they desperately need to cut costs. Something stuck with me when Shopify admitted this last summer, though. They acknowledged that the permanent step up in e-commerce was an illusion. But they also said this remains a secular growth industry. It's just that back then, you know, they just to back down to where it would have been uh, if the pandemic never occurred. I, I'm going to show you this. Fast forward to today, with the benefit of holiday shopping statistics, it's clear Shopify was right. According to data from Adobe Analytics, online sales during the holiday season were up just a paltry 3.5 percent year over year to a new record of roughly what, 2 point, uh, 112 billion. MasterCard said that e-commerce accounted for 21.6 percent of retail sales over the holiday, which is up slightly from 2021 and 2020. If you believe these numbers, the category hasn't lost much ground. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.